Hi friends, welcome to our YouTube channel Mechanical Engineering Exams Made Simple Friends. In this video, let us see few questions from Motor Transport Organization and Industrial Management. Stopwatch time study is a technique of work measurement. Time study and work measurements are the two parts of your work study. time study and work measurement right so now second one is the abbreviation pmta stands for predetermined motion time system standard time is equal to normal time plus allowances normal time is equal to observed time into rating factor basic tool in work study is a stopwatch Railway timetable gives exact time at which all the trains start and the time they take to reach at various stations and how they how long they halted there. Halt there. It is known as a routing. This is particular activity is known as a routing. According to Sir friends, actually there are various plans, Rowan plan, Hazlip plan, etc. Out of the plans, definitely one question will be asked. So please by heart the formula for wages and incentives and various plans according to row one plan h is equal to hourly rate a is equal to actual time s is equal to standard time and then wages will be equal to h a plus s minus a by s into h a with the abbreviations given like that this will be like this next the information sheet to access the condition of the vehicle at the particular time is your mm -hmm. this is a log sheet vehicle log sheet we often hear with the conductors and drivers friends especially conductors so this is your vehicle log sheet and also even lorry drivers also vehicle log sheet articulated vehicle means a tractor with a trailer attached so that the part of trailer is superimposed on that is the correct answer all right Duty roster is related to what is this? Is it related to queue duties, bus timings, bus frequency, or bus schedule? This is related with uh, crew duties. So, staff, crew means staff of the vehicle, uh, driver, and conductor, etc., for a bus, etc. The daily maintenance time for a bus varies from how many hours? It is going to vary from 2 to 3 hours, not more than that. Normally, the daily maintenance time for bus varies from 2 to 3 hours next the standard time at both the, the sorry the standard time okay so the standard time running time and stand time are two important times for calculating the bus frequency etc we have seen in the earlier video so now the stand time at both terminals is given as how much is it five percent or ten percent or fifteen percent or twenty percent of running time it is your five percent of the running time running time and stand time are very very important Fleet utilization will show efficiency of what? Security wing or trans traffic department or administration or engineering department. This is going to give the efficiency of the engineering department. Break even analysis consists of what? So, it is going to consist of fixed cost and variable costs. Fixed cost, variable cost, and also price of the uh, product produced, right? So, how many to be produced to equal the fixed cost and variable cost? It is called break even volume. So, break even analysis consists of both fixed cost and variable cost. So, at which there is no profit, no loss. It is a production quantity where there is no loss there is no profit that's called your break even analysis and volume gantt charts are used for what production schedule or sales forecasting or scheduling and routing or linear programming they are for production schedule right PERT stands for PRT, CPM and PERT are very very important. CPM means critical path method. 
and uh, they are related to the projects and their time, uh, time taken, standard time, etc., no, normal time, etc., all those things. So, optimistic time, pessimistic time, and also another time is also there. Three times are considered for calculating the mean time. So, PERT stands for Program Evaluation and Review Technique. Program Evaluation and Review Technique. Scheduling gives information about what? Scheduling gives information about when a work should start and how much work should be completed during a certain period. Graphical method, simplex method and transportation methods concerned with, they are concerned with neither queuing theory nor value analysis, break analysis, but linear programming. Queuing theory is going to talk about the waiting time in a particular queue, maybe railway station or bus station, etc. And your ration shop, etc. And value analysis is going to give the value of the production and etc. And break analysis, we have just seen that it is going to talk about the production volume at which there is no loss, no profit. Right. Work cost implies what? Factory cost or factory expenses, primary cost or primary cost plus factory expenses. This is going to consist of factory cost, factory expenses and also primary cost also both. CPM has the following time estimates. It has got three time estimates. Okay, friends. Ah, just a minute. Uh, PERT has got three time estimates, but CPM has got only one time estimate, one time estimate, all right. Break even point can be calculated by using the relation F is equal to total fixed cost, S is equal to total sales volume and V is equal to total variable cost. So, then what is the formula for break even point that is the volume, production volume at which there is no profit, no loss. So, what is the formula for this? The formula for this is B F by 1 minus V by S. A B C analysis is uh, in material management, management deals with what? Analysis of uh, process chart, flow of material, ordering schedule of job, controlling inventory cost. So, this is going to control the inventory cost accordingly. The uh, materials are classified into three categories A, B, C. Okay. So, A class items, items are production items are classified into three, A class items, B class items and C class items. C class items, A class items are going to uh, constitute only very uh, few percentage, but their cost is very high. B, medium and medium, that means it is their volume and their uh, uh, what you call uh, cost, but C type of items are going to have going to be in large volumes, but their cost is very, very less. So, it is a method of controlling the inventory cost. That is the correct answer. If T, C, T, M and T, P represent optimistic, uh, most probable. So, I was just referring to friends three times. Okay. So, uh, T, uh, C means T, M and T, P are the optimistic, uh, most probable and pessimistic. I think it should be T, O friends actually. It is not T, C. T, O optimistic time. Then, by probability analysis, the most probable expected time. So, this is going to how much? What is the expected time for this? It is going to be T plus T O plus 4 T M plus T P by 6. That is the correct answer. Alright. Now, salvaging means what? Is it adjusting losses against assets or mortgaging property or disposing of property which is no longer useful in present situation or disposing of property uh, in as such condition. This is disposing of property which is no longer useful in present situation. Any property which has any, it has no use, we are going to dispose it of. Yes or no? So, that is your salvaging. Okay, friends. A, did, a dealer sells a set of tools for 900, which is 80 percent more than he paid for it. At what price must sell the same set to make 120 percent on the cost? So, this, this is a problem friends. You have to uh, actually 
calculates by substituting the correct formula all right so you have to use the appropriate formula for this particular thing so if x be the actual price of the tool then according to the e question so what is given it is given that Uh, please go through the form uh, problem once again. So, 1.8x uh, is equal to 900, x is equal to 500 rupees. So, to get 120 percent more profit, so it has to be 220 percent. So, the profit percentage is equal to, uh, what is this? Oh, let us check the uh, question first of all. A dealer sells a set of tools for 900 which is 80 percent uh, more than he paid for it okay so at what price must he sell the same to make 120 percent so see it is a simple arithmetic problem friends so it is given that 1.8 see 80 percent more means one yeah, 100 more than 100 percent plus 80 percent 1.8 x is equal to 900 so you'll get uh, x is equal to 500 so to get 120 profit 120 percent so 100 plus 120 220 percent so 220 percent so then profit percent how much uh, so selling price by cost price into 100 so 220 is equal to selling price by 500 we got it cost price into 100 solving for this i am going to get 1100 as the correct answer 1100 is the correct answer the time which results in the least possible direct cost of an activity is known as normal is it normal time standard time or slow time or crash time this is going to be called as normal time okay friends so in this video we have seen some previous year questions for your especially tspsc and appsc amva for your previous requirement uh, re recruitments 2012 and uh, 19 for appsc and 2015 for your tspsc recruitments okay friends so from this section you can expect some good number of questions so what you have to do you have to read the all the textbooks uh, for the so for each and every syllabus of the topic of the syllabus you must possess either a, a diploma book or degree book and please practice number of uh, objective bits so there are various textbooks are there so you are what you call uh, especially for this examination atomic engineering volume 1 volume 2 by kripal singh and uh, uh, ic engines by v ganeshan are the two important books and a lot of syllabus is covered from this uh, right friends so you have to the number of questions uh, given uh, at the end of the uh, this uh, textbooks uh, ic engine by v ganeshan and uh, what am engineering what am engineering volume 1 volume 2 by kripal singh at the end of the chapters number of questions are given practice questions objective bit bits, bits so please practice them and get the textbook for each and every topic and uh, read lot of textbooks that is going to give you a lot of confidence to face the examination boldly and also uh, get some uh, what you call uh, practice lot of uh, uh, test series okay so if you are in the requirement of any material uh, i have got a thousand question bid bank uh, written for your examination only friends this is uh, available at very nominal price so i am charging very less for that and also i have got the material for both dspsc and appsc amv second paper automobile engineering for very very reasonable cost if you are interested you can mail me on sridhar.people at the rate of gmail.com sridhar dot b pelli at the rate of gmail dot com either uh, or you can call me on double nine one two five zero seven six double three so please uh, uh, complete the syllabus don't leave any topic and for your examination you have to get the accuracy and also your speed also right and don't do the blunders that means uh, don't do the questions which you know right uh, wrong in the examination so you should you should not uh, uh, say what you say uh, definitely you know some questions uh, uh, you should not do wrong the questions which you know right so in a hurry and one more thing is that you have to uh, after you complete first of all go through the uh, question paper very carefully and do the questions which you know thoroughly perfectly whether it is a problem or theory and then after that you can come from the come for the second round in the second round you can uh, once again do the which uh, the, the questions which you have left in the first round so like that uh, and uh, you uh, for theory questions you have to whatever the time you save for the theory questions direct questions uh, for questions uh, for which you can locate the answer very very easily so like that you can save some time use that time for your uh, 
uh, your uh, what you call uh, problem related questions once again friends and one more thing is that this time do not expect the examination to be very very easy straight forward actually there is a lot of competition this time friends. Uh, so, after uh, 7 years uh, the examination is being conducted in Telangana and after 3 or 4 years it is being conducted in AP Andhra. So, definitely and there is a lot of awareness among the people even boys and girls about the importance of this particular post assistant motor vehicle inspector. So, number of people uh, know and they know the requirements of the examination also like heavy license. So, this time I am expecting at least 4 to 5 times the competition and the if it is say 25,000 more than that number of applicants is 25 the more than 25,000 they are going to conduct the offline examination. If it is less than 25,000 normally they are going to conduct the online examination. So, be prepared for this time offline examination because I am expecting more than 25,000 competition for your APPS and TSPC AMV friends okay, na? Uh, okay friends. So, in the next video we are going to see some more questions of this particular uh, any topic of your assistant motor inspector adobe engineering uh, uh, second paper okay let us meet in the next video shortly all the best